Today, a plaque unveiling for one of Dickinson County's pioneers was held. A dedication ceremony for Thomas Wildcat King was held at the Segola Township Hall this morning. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Monique Lopez has an up-close look at who King was and the presentation for him. If I could do what he would do, I would think I was a stellar youper. Okay. The name Tom King might be unfamiliar to many UP residents, but members of the Segola Township community have done something to change that. Today's unveiling and dedication of the Thomas Wildcat King Memorial capstoned an effort that began two years ago as a plan to return a branch of the Sturgeon River to its original name, Tom King Creek. Through their combined efforts, the Dickinson County Board and Road Commission succeeded and expanded that goal. But who was Tom King? He was an entrepreneur and, and was, was you know, part of the heart of Upper Michigan. If you're looking for the heart of Upper Michigan, you don't have to go too far to find it in Tom King. King was many things. The last chief of the Badwater Band of the Chippewa Indians, a pioneer, logger, miner, local politician, and postman. As a young man, King worked for the U.S. Postal Service delivering mail across more than 220 miles from Green Bay to Copper Harbor on foot. There'll be some people that haven't even heard of Thomas King, and maybe now they'll hear of him, maybe they can research him, stop by and look at this plaque, and uh, just have a feel for some of the history in our county. The plaque is located outside of the Segola Township Hall on M95. Monique Lopez, TV6 News, Segola Township.